Hi guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I had a great trading session today and I want to share what I did today and explain a little bit about that. But I just want you to take a look here at pre-market time. Now you can see it's 8 8.47 so that's uh, roughly 43 minutes before the trading session started I did post my picks for the day now I do my homework as you should too and uh, in that you can see that I have uh, four candidates for the long side CRWD uh, Tesla INO and PLTR I also have two candidates for the short side SPLK and KR and that's why very simple these stocks are gapping up or down short would be gapping down uh, short candidates will be gapping down and the other are gapping up so some of them are looking extremely strong some of them are looking extremely weak and I'm interested in all these are my main picks and why because they're gapping up and because they have nice pre-market volume so I'm posting it as I do every day in my trading room so that other traders could take a look uh, be prepared again 43 minutes before the trading session started and obviously be prepared and uh, possibly trade them too now traders uh, we would like to ask you to help our channel and just give us a thumb up it's right here below it will help other people to reach this channel and uh, you know the more we are the better we trade together and that helps us all helps other people helps YouTube to promote these videos thank you very much now let's see what happened during this, the trading session so the first one is CRWD which you can see started with a gap up try to move lower and now trying to move higher because you want to see the sellers in control first and then trying to move higher now I'm going to go long right now 4,000 shares watch that looking at the 159 which is just moved over and I just went long 4,000 shares now look at this immediately beautiful spike up I'm already up like seven thousand dollars and I'm immediately looking for my way out now that just happened in a few seconds as you can see eight grand right now about to sell 3600 shares at any sign of a pullback looking at the buyers looking at the sellers when the sellers are going to come down now the buyers are coming down and I'm clicking the button so the sellers uh, and the buyers came down a little bit and as you can see there's a small topping tail here at the top and that made me just move out you know the best thing you can do as a trader is get your partials real quick and if you get the chance for that approximately one to one risk reward that's my opinion but there's a lot of traders other traders who are trading with a one to two or one to three my uh, basic uh, trading strategy strategy is one to one so I was waiting for my one to one target and I took my partial now now I I've put the, the the risk behind me I only have 400 shares I'm hoping it's going to continue higher but I don't care much for a pullback because you know the stock the stock is strong as you can see it started with a gap up today initial move down which is great because once it moves down it takes out the sellers uh, all of the people who are taking profits and so on so the sellers are out of the game the stock was trying to return higher that should be a gap and go long I just went long and as you can see in just a matter of a few seconds that was an $8,000 winner or so so that was my first trade today and of course you could have seen earlier CRWD as one of my four candidates for the long side now let's see the next earlier I showed you my pre-market two candidates KR for the short side and SPLK now uh, KR looks kind of okay but it's not a very big mover SPLK looks much more interesting look at the lows the lows is 155 whole number you have a lot of buyers at whole numbers I'm looking to short it at the lows or below the lows it's getting close look at the buyers 15502 155 clicking the button I'm short right now look at the spike down once it moved under the whole number to a new low 80 cents and bounce back <laughs> so so I did like 85 cents actually and bounced back I was hoping to get one and a half point which was my target I didn't really get that but it still is under pressure look at the buyers coming down 154 76 60 50 154 30 still is under pressure I'm looking for it to come down under 154 I want to see the sellers under 154 getting close to my one and a half point target look at the buyers look at the sellers it's getting there it's under and right now I get my target one half point I'm about to click the button clicking the button now missed it the thing is it just spiked up a bit it reached my target I did the right thing but I did not click the button at the right time it did add a few thousand dollars to my account but uh, that was a nice trade a nice gap and go but I kind of missed the point where I really should have clicked the button so again 
uh, the stock is coming down. You can see that the first two candles are red. You need a small pullback to get out of those people who are averaging down or whatever. And then when the buyers are away, you look for a new low. And I just it just happened to be a whole number. Well, it did not happen to be. There's a lot of buyers at whole numbers. So finally, it did come down under the whole number. I shorted it. I got to my target and I did not click my button right where I should have. But anyway, a nice winner. Next trade on my list is Tesla. Again, you could have seen it earlier on my picks. Now 590 is whole number and look at what happens at the 590. You would expect a lot of sellers at whole numbers. Look at the 590 sellers. Now you could see them 1600 or so sellers and I'm going long, maybe too early. Again to the 590, 3500 sellers. It should run over once it goes through. I'm already long and <laughs> here comes the breakout. Well, I did get in a little bit too early. I thought it already was over 590. The number of sellers was coming down, but now it's getting ready to, I'm getting ready to move out, about to sell. Now, took my partial. That was a beautiful trade, approximately $10,000 or so in Tesla. Now the same idea, a stock that is starting with a gap up, uh, moving lower. Well, the initial move was up, but then it came down. You only want to see the move down. You want to see those who are taking profits, getting out of the game. And then once it tries to get to make its way back to the highs. And of course, the market is helping. The market is pushing higher too. And you've got a whole number there at the reversal point. I went long 590. Once it crossed the whole number, a lot of sellers, you could have seen them on the level two. It just jumped over and jumped over the highs and gave me my partial point. And now, as you can see, I'm still holding 400 shares and it's doing fantastically well. $1,500 or so. So we just reached four points. Now, of course, I couldn't have known that earlier. Otherwise, I would have waited. But again, I had my risk reward at approximately two points in Tesla. So I took my first partial in Tesla. That was was my uh, last third trade for the day. Well, just uh, 15 minutes into the trading session. And as you can see here, the results are great. Over $10,000 in Tesla, $2,700 in SPLK, CRWD, almost seven grand. So $20,000 for 15 minutes of trading. Traders, everything was posted live in our trading room. And you can find the link below here to join us for a free 14 day trial. And uh, we call these trades live in the trading room and I posted them pre-market time so that our traders can get ready for them. And again, if you like this video, please help us. Give us a thumb up. It's right here below. And that will help you to promote our videos more and get more people who are interested in trading to join us too. The more we are, uh, the, more we, the, the better we trade. And uh, that would be helpful for all of us. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in my next videos.